Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Roche. We are working with Python and um, we are using the processing library um, that's available through Trinket to do, um, to do some graphics stuff, okay? Uh, what we have is we have a, an exciting puck here uh, that's 30 um, pixels wide, radius 30, so 60 pixels, and it kind of pulses because we were using um, the example um, programming that we saw uh, before to make that happen which was cool um, and what we need to do right now for homework is I want to try to um, make this guy move like we did before and then make a whole bunch of other um, sort of pucks or maybe puck shapes and stuff like that and maybe look at other drawing things that we can use okay and um, what I want to do right now is get the um, get the uh, um, get the uh, get the uh, uh, um, the coordinates uh, to get this guy moving so when we drag the mouse it'll move and that was that was easy we just kind of did a, um, a quick in the drawing loop what we did was we updated um, we have an X X loc and a Y loc which are X puck and Y puck right now Okay, and then we just kind of updated them. Um, and we just went like this. So this would be like xpuck um, equals uh, the old xpuck um, plus, and this is a processing thing, is you can get the mouse x like that. Um, and we're going to subtract the old um, x puck location, right? And then um, what was done in the example was they added this sort of delay. And we could play around with the delay and see what that, see what that does for us, OK? And then the Y would go, um, let me copy that. And so this, this would be pretty much the same. So it's a Y, that's a Y, that's a Y, that's a Y, and that's the delay. OK, so let me try to rerun this. So now he kind of moves around, which is good. Okay. All right. Okay. So now what we want to do is make a whole bunch of, like, what I want you to try to do is lead him through um, a bunch of different places, okay? And so see if we can get him to, um, it would actually be kind of cool if there was a maze or something like that. But, but right now, let's, let's try to do other, like, a whole bunch of, I want to make a kind of an array of other pucks to kind of, like, like move him through, okay? And that's, that's what I want to do. So um, to do that, um, I'm going to do, um, I got to make a kind of um, uh, like a, an, a bunch of other pucks. And I have to, like, to kind of carry the coordinates of a whole bunch of other pucks. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to make a list, OK? So to do that, I'm going to make a, um, a P list for other pucks, OK? And I'm going to go like that. And this, makes, um, this sets up an array. Okay, so that's step number one. Okay, so step one one, do you want to set up an array? Let's see. Okay, so we got an array. That's good. Okay, then um, basically what I want to do is during the setup, um, I want to kind of like populate the array and make some pucks. Okay, and some place in the world we have to kind of do that. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I need to make a thing like a, uh, uh, um, a function. So we're going to make a def called make pucks, make other pucks. Okay, something like that. Okay. And what I'm going to try to do in the beginning is just make, um, I want to I actually make rows of them. Okay, which would be cool because then we can kind of move this guy through them and see what we can do with them. Okay. But for right now, let's see. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make a row of pucks. Um, what did we say here? My screen width is 400. Um, this is 300, so there's maybe like 10, room for 10 pucks, maybe a little bit more. Um, let's make this, um, let's see what happens if we go 300 by 300 for me. Kind of do that. Um, oh, I don't have anything in here. So print, um, just say hi for right now. Okay. So I've got a 300 by 300 thing. That doesn't seem so great, does it? Um, Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger. So um, let's make it three. I'll go up by. I'll make it like three sixty. 
by 360. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it fit like an equal number of pucks. So let's do that. That's a little bit better, and we can see what's going on. That seems okay. Um, let me see what I got. Yep, that's that's that. Um, you could go up to 390. Get those more extra additional pucks in there. Yeah, maybe that's good. That seems good. Okay, so let's make a row of pucks. So what's going to happen is, um, you know, you're going to start at zero. It's going to go to 30. You know, 60, 90, stuff like that. I think I think um, I think zero zero is the the place where things start. Let me see. Let me try it at zero. Zero. Let's see what happens. So you can see, like that's that's the thing. So 30, 30 is like one puck. Okay, that seems actually pretty good. Okay, but let's set up a row of pucks at maybe like like a cross here right now in the middle. Okay, so um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a row of pucks in here. So I'm gonna go um, for I in range, and the question is. How many 30 um, pixel pucks can I fit into um, uh, 390, right? Okay, and the answer is like 13. I can get 13 pucks in there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to, I have to get some coordinates for the pucks. So let's say I want to put these pucks like at the top here for a second. Um, Okay, so my my um, basically my x coordinates are going to change, but my y coordinates would be like the same. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. So I'm going to say new puck like y. It's a new p. No, new puck y is going to equal. Um, let me see, 30, 60, 90. Let's say, let's say it starts at 120, because that's going to be the same. Okay? But what I have to do is I have to make a new puck x. So I'm going to say new puck x is going to equal um, i, will be i times 30. So what's going to happen is as i changes, this is going to, to I'm sorry, take out the semicolon. It's going to do that, okay? That sounds good, right? Okay. Now, what I need to do is I need to make um, new puck um, points. I'm going to make this thing that's going to hold the points, okay? And that's also going to be like a little array, just like this guy, like the P list, okay? I'm going to go new puck points append. New puck x, okay. The new puck points append new puck y. So what I'm going to do is I, what that does is it loads an x and a y inside this little array, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take new puck points and put it on the p list. So I'm going to say p list, okay. New p list append. So it's a lot of appending, but this is this is something you can do with lists. And I'm going to say new puck points. Okay. Well, what it's going to do is it's going to make a whole bunch of points at um, 30, you know, 60, 90, 120. Like so, so it should be a kind of a row of them down here. Okay, that's what I'm hoping. Okay. So. That looks good, okay? So that's all I needed to do here to make other pucks. And what I also want to do is I want to call it someplace. So I can call it down at the bottom, or I could call it here and say make other pucks. Okay? Well, let's see what happens, see if I get any errors right now. Okay, it's okay. It hasn't done anything, but it's but it's okay. Okay, so we're, we're feeling good. Okay, so make other pucks. And then um, well, the, the thing I do now is when, once they get made, they live in um, p list, okay. So I need to go down here and add the p list to my drawing loop, okay, which we have been doing. And I'm going to just go ahead after I do this drawing here, and I'm going to work to draw on my pucks, okay. 
So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to say 4 pi in range 13. Okay. I'm going to go, uh, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to try to make pucks that are similar. So I'm going to go like this and set this up just like we did before. Okay, except I'll make them like opposite. So I'll make this one stroke and I'll make this one fill. Okay, so they're like the opposite colors. This is, these are colors, this is color information, okay. So I do this, and then what else I do is I just have to draw the ellipse in the correct place. So I'm going to go like this. And this is going to go P list. Oh, oh, oh. Um, let me see. I have to go like this. I have to go, um, oh, I have to go, um, not for I range 13. I have to go for um, puck in P list. Okay, and I'll just sort of draw them out. So I'm going to go, and what I'll do is it takes each puck instance, okay, and I'll just kind of put them in, which is good, okay. And what's going to happen is we'll just go like this. It's like a straight linear array, so it just should make a one big line, okay, that's pretty good. And we'll go, um, whoopee, we'll go, um, Puck zero. That's the x coordinate. And we'll say puck one. That's the y coordinate. And then we'll use the same radius. Okay. And we'll see what happens. Here we go. Ready? Boom. There they are. Okay. And they still they do the exact same thing as the other guys. That's pretty good, right? Um, except they're a little bit too um, too close by to each other. So um, let me see what, what can we do to like help that out. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's not bad, right? Um, let's see, maybe like do like 32. A little bit better. All right. Let's make 12 of them. And maybe. Um, Make them 33. I don't know why. 30. Oh, I think it because has to do with the um, the stroke on it too. So each of these guys are actually what's our stroke width? Our stroke weight's 10. Um, so these guys are probably like 50. Okay. So I'm gonna make this 400. And 400 and divide this by um, 50, so it's going to be like 8, okay, and do this by um, 50, and we'll try that. Now they're a little bit too too close by to each other, let me see what's going on here. And this guy also like didn't, um, oh, they, might, they might actually put themselves in the middle too, uh, okay, so let me see. So, pretty good. Let's just try 45. It's pretty close. Shift 40. Okay, that's sort of what we want. So, we got 40, so let's make this to be like 10. Okay. And then I have to just bump them all over by um, like a half of one of those radiuses. So, I'll go like that and say 20. And there you go. Okay, so now I got them. Now the question is, can you make, can you make the rest of them? Okay, and what we'll do is we'll try to get them to kind of move around. I think if if this guy's kind of coming near them, I guess that's sort of the idea of it, right? So um, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we can do it. Okay. So the question is then then how do you go ahead and make like a second range or a second row? The deal is. What you'd have to do is you'd have to change the puck x and y, okay, to something else each time you make a new row, okay? So um, I think I have to continue this on another video, but we'll do that, okay? So hang on. So try to get this done for tonight, and maybe we could do this for um, tomorrow, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.